This is what we're trying to do for the entire rest of the state, so that Asian Americans and any Americans don't have to fear walking to the grocery store, doing their morning walk for exercise, waiting to catch a bus. San Francisco Assembly Member Phil Ting introduced a new assembly bill Friday morning that would require all law enforcement agencies in California to adopt an updated hate crimes policy that would change how they recognize, report, and respond. This comes amid a rise in violent attacks targeting members of the Asian American and Pacific Islander community, many of those attacks going unreported or not categorized as a hate crime. This is about ensuring that law enforcement can properly identify a hate crime, that they can properly categorize a hate crime, and by having that data, we're actually going to continue to see more and more reporting. It's so important that we raise the awareness and that we continue to fight against hate crimes. This is taking a step forward in regards to the fact that legislation is being introduced, so there's action behind the words. Linda Louie, president of the Sacramento Chinese of Indochina Friendship Association, says hate crimes towards Asian Americans increased significantly since the COVID-19 pandemic began. They called it the Chinese virus, and then we get targeted, our elder get targeted uh, Pretty often. Carl Chan with Asian Pacific Islander American Public Affairs says he is one of the many victims impacted by a hate crime. Last year, he was on his way to help another hate crime victim in Oakland when he was attacked from behind. He's hoping with Assemblymember Ting's new proposal, victims of hate crimes will receive proper justice and the amount of violent attacks towards all people of color will decline. Hopefully with this, we can uh, make, make sure that people will understand are uh, not by only by one community, but all communities we have to work together and, and bringing, um, you know, common, uh, bringing unity together.